Hi students, we are doing another concentration unit called percent by volume or volume percent. And this is the volume of a solute that's dis dissolved in a certain amount of solution. And we often see volume percent when we have a liquid dissolved in a liquid. And in real life, where we're going to see volume percent is usually with alcoholic beverages. So if we take a look at volume percent, what we've got right here shows you guys um, volume of our solute in milliliters div divided by volume of our solution also in milliliters. So you'll notice that we have the same unit for our solute and our solution. It needs to be that way. You can also do with liters over liters or fluid ounces over fluid ounces, but most of the time, we're gonna see milliliters over milliliters. So if we look down here at this bottle of Everclear, we can see that it says 95% alcohol by volume. So that's what it's talking about when it says alcohol by volume is our volume percent. And the other way that we will see this displayed is proof. So if you have something that's 200 proof, that would mean that it's just pure alcohol. So ethanol is our drinking alcohol. It's also a biofuel, but uh, ethanol is definitely the one in our alcoholic beverages. There are other types of alcohol like methanol or propanol or isopropanol isopropyl alcohol, which is also called isopropanol, and that's the rubbing alcohol that we tend to keep in our bathroom or in our medicine cabinet. So when we're talking about proof, uh, what you'll notice is if you just double the alcohol by volume, so if you took 95 and you doubled it, you would get 190. So that's pretty easy how that works right there. Okay, so let's move on to how we would work some of these problems. So number one says you dissolve a five centimeter cubed cube of sugar and enough water to make 20 milliliters of solution. And we wanna know what our volume percent of um, our solute is, which is sucrose in this solution because the sugar that we use in our kitchen is sucrose. So what we would wanna do is we'd wanna write out the equation for percent by volume just so we can remind ourselves what we're doing and how we're gonna plug and chug on this one. So we've got volume of solute in milliliters divided by our volume of solution also in milliliters times 100. Now it might look like we don't have milliliters and milliliters but if we remember that one centimeter cubed is equal to one cc and is equal to one milliliter we know that we've got milliliters here. So that's good practice there. So then we can just plug and chug. So we've got percent V over V is equal to the volume of the solute. And then we have to choose, is that the five milliliters of sugar or the 20 milliliters of solution? So that one should be pretty obvious. So we've got five milliliters of sucrose up here and we have 20 milliliters of our sugar water, our solution on the bottom, and we multiply that by 100. And what we're going to get is 25, and we're going to just do two sig figs because 5.0 has two sig figs. And how we would do the units on this is we'd say percent V over V, and we always want to say what the solute is, so we would say sucrose. And remember, if the problem doesn't say otherwise, we're going to assume that the solvent, the thing that's doing the dissolving, is what? Is water. Okay, so that would be the answer on that one.
and we get to move on to number two, which says, your bottle of Jack Daniels says that the alcohol content is 40% ABV, and we want to know what this means in terms of our solute content. So ABV is alcohol by volume, so this is volume percent. So what we're getting is or we could just say 40. Let's just do that because the question says 40. So we're getting an answer of 40 and we want to know what our solute content is and what our solution content is there. Now this is kind of a thinking question. So if we just put 100 milliliters down here, it makes it really easy because then the 100 on the bottom there that I just wrote cancels out with the 100 over here that we have. So we just have to think, what would we put on the top that would give us 40 over here? And that should jump right out to you guys and we should be able to go ahead and fill in right there the 40 milliliters and that would be of ethanol. That's our solute. So we've got ethanol up here and that is per every 100 milliliters of Jack Daniels. So for 100 milliliters of JD, 40 milliliters of that is our ethanol molecule or our alcohol. So that's what that means there. So we have uh, some more problems right here. And number one says your child has an ear infection and is given a suspension of 5.0% M over V amoxicillin. So that's the pink suspension that we've already seen. And we want to know how many grams of the antibiotic is she given in 10 milliliters. So if you're given one of those little um, cups by the pharmacy or one of those little... Um, it has a little spoon on the end and then it has a little place uh, where you put the medication in it and it shows you in milliliters and teaspoons because we're Americans. So we like to do teaspoons and tablespoons. Um, yeah, you would measure out um, five milliliters, 10 milliliters or however many teaspoons that is. So we want to know how many grams here. So what we would do is we would look back at our slide and we would write out the equation for percent m over v so we did that a while ago and that is the mass of our solute and that's in grams in the volume of solution and that was in milliliters, and we multiply that by 100 to get our percent M over V. Now it says we have a 5% M over V, so that five goes over here. So we have 5.0, and the M over V is grams per milliliter, and we know that we have 10 milliliters of our solution, and we're multiplying this by 100, and we're wondering what the mass of the solute is. So if we were to do a little bit of magic of algebra here, we would go ahead and we would move the 10 diagonal across the equal sign, so it's gonna be up top there. And we take this 100 and we would put it on the bottom over there, and what we would get is 5.0 grams per milliliter, multiplied by 10 milliliters divided by 100 and that's going to be the mass of our solute and we can see that the milliliters will cancel out and we're left with grams which is good because it says how many grams we're wondering there and then we do 5 times 10 on the top, which gives us 50, and then 50 divided by 100, that's going to give us 0.5. So the mass of our solute 
is going to equal 0.5 grams, and the solute is amoxicillin. Now, that doesn't sound very familiar to us, but if we switch it to milligrams, because we usually do um, drugs or pharmaceuticals in milligrams, we would put the grams on the bottom, and we should know by now that we have a thousand milligrams per gram. The grams cancel out, and what we will get here is 500 milligrams of amoxicillin. Okay, so 200, 300, 325, 350, 500 milligrams, those should all sound like familiar dosages of an antibiotic for us. Okay, so number two says your bottle of Hanger 24 orange wheat beer says that it contains 4.6% um, and then it'll say ALC divided by VOL, so that's alcohol by volume, so that's ABV. How much ethanol is contained in 100 milliliters of this beverage? All right, so what we would do is we would just set this up. We'd say, okay, well, our percent V over V is the volume of our solute in milliliters over our volume of solution, also in milliliters, times 100. And the percent V over V over here is 4.6. So we're gonna have 4.6. And this is equal to the volume of solute over the volume of solution times 100. And the question says we've got 100 milliliters of this beverage. And over here, we've got milliliters over milliliters in case you needed that. So we'd have to have milliliters over milliliters there. And this is another one of those ones where it should just jump out at you. So we have something divided by 100 multiplied by 100 that gives us 4.6. And those 100s are gonna cancel out, so it's gotta be 4.6. So we're gonna have 4.6 milliliters of our alcohol, ethanol, for every 100 milliliters of our solution, and our solution is the beer. So out of every 100 milliliters of our beer, 4.6 milliliters of that solution is ethanol. And if we put this in perspective, because again, we're Americans and we like to do imperial units, 100 milliliters is about 3.4 fluid ounces. So we would probably be drinking a little bit more of that because that's a little less than half a beer, which is usually about eight ounces for a smaller one. All right, so that is percent V over V, and we still have parts per million in dilutions to hit, and we'll do those in another video. Okay, bye-bye.